So welcome back everybody, Mike here. Let me tell you, summer is on its way out. It's uh, not even September yet. There's already leaves starting to fall. It's getting cooler. If this is any indication on what uh, winter may be like, we may be in for a doozy. We'll see. But anyway, um, tonight I'm going to build a uh, shooting bench. I've wanted one for a long time. I mean, I've got never had a really good setup to shoot from. And every year, you know, you, right before deer season, guys are out shooting their guns in and you think, man, why didn't I build a bench earlier on in the season? And uh, I mean, I shoot all the time, but I would like to have a nice, solid, heavy duty bench to shoot from. So uh, I got on the old internets and uh, found all different kind of designs and pictures and kind of making like a combination of all of them. But this one's going to be very heavy and uh, that's what I wanted. I like a nice stable bench. I won't be able to move it except with the tractor. So it'll still be portable but uh, you'll need a tractor to lift it. Uh, all the lumber for this consists of nine two by sixes, eight feet long, and one two by eight, 10 feet long, and then a few decking boards for the top. So at the end of this video, I will have the, the complete cut list and uh, you know what to cut out of each board, and you literally have zero waste. I mean, there's hardly anything at all. So last night, I, uh, I got all my pieces cut, and tonight I'm going to put it together and once I get it framed we'll do some measuring and uh, you'll know exactly how to build one if you care to and you know this is a good video if you'd like to share this with any of your friends that shoot uh, now's a good time of year to build it like I said you know come October November you're gonna be wanting to sight your deer rifles in and uh, you're gonna think man I should have built a bench there a while back well now's your chance and total cost for this is uh, just a little under a hundred dollars and lumber is pretty expensive, but still for a bench like this, it's, I think it's a pretty good deal. But uh, first one ever made, we'll see how it turns out. See you in a bit. So I uh, finished framing this up last night, right about dark, but I wanted to uh, give you a look at it before I put the top on it. And actually, I think I'm going to stain in here before I uh, put the top on it. It'll be a little easier. And then at the end of this video, I will have several images with measurements on it. But if you follow the cut list, that I'm going to provide. This is all that's uh, all the waste you have, which isn't too bad.
here's the uh, finished product. I think it came out pretty well for a first attempt. Boy, have cordless drills come a long way in the last few years. It must be the uh, lithium ion batteries, but they are a world of difference compared to the older ones. I've had several DeWalt's over the years and then a, uh, a Craftsman just as a spare, like a 19.2 volt. I had a uh, DeWalt 24 volt hammer drill. That thing was a beast. But uh, compared to these new ones, my goodness, these things work great. The battery on uh, mine now, it's a 20 volt VMAX lithium ion. It's the XR, which is, I think, the best with the brushless motor. Uh, it's phenomenal. It's like the battery never dies on the thing. It's got all the power in the world. Uh, I'll show it to you here. Anyway, this is the drill. This thing has been great. And like I said, it's the 20 volt uh, XR. It's with the lithium ion brushless. And I bought this with a combo with this little impact gun. It works great well. Came with two batteries. I'm going to put a link in the description uh, if you're looking for a new drill I'll put just a drill and if you're looking for this combo these little impact guns are great too especially like for changing blades in the mower deck they're not very tall you can get under there no problem uh, but these are great I love this thing so anyway like I was saying earlier this would be a great video to share I'd appreciate that with any of your friends or family that's into uh, shooting you know, this would be a great bench for at your house if you live in the country or at your deer camp or, or wherever you're allowed to shoot, even at your sportsman's club, whatever. But a hundred bucks or less, you can build one. Now that does not include the screws or the stain. Uh, I had some, I had the screws, I didn't factor that in. And the stain, the dark brown I had left over from my deck. And I did buy the, uh, the gray last night because I wanted a lighter color top for one of them going to be doing like gun reviews and things like that the dark brown I think would just kind of contrast or I wanted that contrast so when you're you know showing firearms on that thing you'll be able to see them pretty well so I was at Lowe's and I bought that uh, that gray stain and all I wanted was a quart stain is so expensive now so it's $15 for a quart but then the lady says hey you're going to get a great deal today I said why is that and she says because we don't have any of the quarts so I'm going to give you a gallon for the same price oh my like, okay thanks you know I appreciate it so she gets me a gallon of this stuff and uh and it was fifteen dollars and forty eight cents and then she said oh boy I said what and she goes you actually get a fifteen dollar rebate on that I was like are you kidding me she's like no I'm like are you sure about that she's like yeah so basically I got a gallon of stain which is you know normally about thirty eight or forty dollars for uh, forty eight cents which that never happens but you know on the flip side I've spent thousands of dollars on stain over the years but this time I you know made out alright on it but anyway I think that's it I'll give you one last look at the uh, bench and uh, if you enjoy these videos click subscribe and like our Facebook page and I also will put the uh, description or a link to Amazon for the uh, the drill that I use it's a great drill it's a beast you may not need that XR model if you use it kind of occasionally but if you want something with a ton of power and the battery lasts forever go ahead and bite the bullet and get the better one just my opinion uh, and that's it so uh, take care and uh, I got a bunch of other stuff going on this weekend that you will see shortly I've got an excavator delivered today so I'm gonna go do uh, some clearing projects all right take care thanks